What's good, Wolfpack? I'm TNS Tony, and you're in the world's den where we talk about everything that's fake related. And today I got a video for you on dripping. Everything you need to know to get to dripping. Dripping 101. With that being said, grab your feet and let's conversate. Come on. For this uh, tutorial, you're gonna need a couple things to get going and dripping. First and foremost, you're gonna need an RDA. Pick an RDA that you wanna drip on. Any one that you think you can drip on is pretty simple. Most of them are once you get the use of it, but pick one that you think you're gonna really like. I picked the Apocalypse today because I really like the Apocalypse and uh, it's easy to build on. So let me show you the deck on this. It's a clapping style deck, and uh, yeah, a really good dripper, really good. I like it a lot, one of my favorites. And uh, yeah, so I'll get the apocalypse. It's your RDA that you want to drip on. Next, you want to want the tools. You want to be ready to wrap and make your coils for the dripper, unless you buy a pre-made coil. But today, I'm going to build a coil to show you just in case you want to build your own if you don't have the money. And the wire that I'm going to use to uh, build the coil is going to be um, Mary Cat's stainless steel 24 gauge wire. That's what I'm using today. I'm going to do a parallel build with this and I'm going to show you how that's done. Very simple. You're also going to need some tweezers. You're going to need a uh, flathead screwdriver or any screwdriver or tool that fits your RDA um, nuts to tighten up your post on your post and stuff. So you're going to need that. You're going to need um, some type of pliers. I got these flat nose pliers here. They work really good. I like them. I got these vinyl pliers so I won't damage my wire. They're also really good to use when building. I got some flesh cutters for cutting off my leads once I get it built in and cut them the exact size of wire that I'm going to need to make two coils. You're going to need wicking materials. You're going to need something to uh, work your cotton with. And you're going to need, of course, you're going to need cotton, which I have here, and a liquid of your choice. And I'm not sure which liquid I'm going to use, e-liquid, but I'll do that at the end. And with that being said, Let's begin. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is get your coils ready. And like I said, I'm using 24 gauge stainless steel um, Mad Cat wire. Really good wire. I use it a lot. I get this from a local uh, vape store here in Hagerstown. But to make this coil, I'm going to need about, let me see, I'm doing parallel coils, so I'm going to need about, I'm going to say 16 inches. Maybe a little more. I'm going to say 24. I'm going to go with 16. I'm going to guess this about between 16 and 24 inches. So I'm going to get that. And I'm going to clip it. I'm going to clip it about right there. Alright. I'm going to put this back up around it. Okay. Hard to pick up. All right, I got that. I ain't gonna need this no more, hopefully. But I got a nice length of wire. All right, and I'm gonna cut this in half. Cause like I said, I'm gonna make parallel cord. So I'm gonna clip this in half, find the center, clip. And I'm gonna fold that together like this. So I can parallel core and I'm just gonna squeeze it in. Throw it down and squeeze it. And then I'm gonna get my coil master uh jig and I'm gonna pick the diameter that I want my cores. For this I'm gonna make it about uh three millimeter in a diameter. 
on parallel chords, and I'm gonna do about, I'm gonna say between six and seven raps to get where I want. This is a cloud chasing build, if y'all wanna know. This is not, it's all right on flavor, but it's really good on cloud. So I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna stick it in here, like that, like I showed y'all once before. I just folded it, and then I'm gonna line them up. And I'm gonna stick it in there. Just like that. Press that with my finger and start the wrap. One. Two. Three. Anybody can do this. This is so simple. I think I'm gonna go with six. Make sure you try to keep it tight. Six. That's one. I'm gonna grab a plus, the vinyl one, with the plastic tips, because I don't want to miss the wire too much. I'm just gonna pull it tight on the jig, both leads. I'm gonna pull on both leads like that. Tighten it up. There you go. That's one. I'm going to tighten them up a little bit better when I get them inside the RDA or clamp down. All right, let's do one more. Same method. Take your wire, fold it, pull on the end, run my fingers down just to tighten them to bring it together. And when I wrap it, and squeeze it. See that right there? Just squeeze it. It's a little bit tight. You ain't gotta tighten it up all the way. Just a little bit. There you go. Just like that. And that's the end that you want to put down here on the end of your day. Like that. And make sure the lot the, the wires stay parallel and don't get crossed up. You want them to be directly close to each other. Start it out. One. Six racks. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. There we go. Yeah, six racks. Grab my pliers again. You know, just leave it out of the bent when you take it out. It don't be straight. So, I'm going to straighten that up. Grab the pliers. Grab the end. Pull it tight. Both of them. Pull both leads. And there you go. That's how you want it looking. Just like that. Nothing to it. All right, with that, you want to grab your RDA. Some people build right on the mat. I might use the ammo. Actually, I am going to use the ammo when I'm done to vape it on. But I like building. I got a, a RDA stand, this right here. I ordered it from uh, 3F Vapes over in China when I first ordered from them. I haven't ordered from them since because they take too long. But this is a good stand, and it got weight to it. It's like a stainless steel or something, chunk. And you can screw your RDAs on it like that, so you can build on them. Bang, there you go. I'm gonna build on it just like that. This clamping system is real easy, too. I like it. Of the apocalypse, great. But Armageddon, you just take it and just slide it in. Hold on, let me clip off this end. Cause I see it's gonna cause you trouble. That, that little loop end right there, I'm gonna cut that off. Do it to fit better in my post. All right, so that's in there. And let's put this together. It should be relatively simple. 
But like as usual, every time I try to do something that I think it's gonna be simple, as soon as I go to record, up in here, it mess up. But so far, so good. I'm just centering it, putting it in there right now. In the post is fine, the blade up there, you know. That's one side. Right there. Take. Where did I put that at? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, it's losing something. Stick my uh, cold jig rod back in there and straighten it up a little bit. Like that. And then, I'm going to clip the leads so they won't be in the way from my next call. See how the leads stick out. They won't be in the way. So I'm gonna cut them off early, right now. Just like that. Right. Yeah, what's good though, Wolfpack? I ain't been real active in the group going live that much because I've been working like crazy. Like real crazy. Like heck hella overtime and like I said the job I'm working on now is super secretive it's Procter and Gamble if y'all want to know that's who I'm working for now well my I work my company's working for Procter and Gamble and they super secretive they worrying about uh espionage and stuff like that so I can't take pictures on the job site and record or have my phone out it's real crazy down there right now so I, I try to do what I'm supposed to do and not do it, but I be mad and I do it anyway sometimes. Like, forget this crap. It's not that serious, for real. You're making shampoo and baby uh, stuff and all of that. Like, but y'all make it seem like y'all doing something way more than what y'all supposed to be doing. Like, how serious could it really be? And you're just making uh, cosmetic products and baby stuff. Like, come on, man. Overdoing it, and they really are overdoing it. I wish I, I wish I could post some of the crap that they doing, just to show y'all. Almost make me not want to buy their products no more. Like they be assholeish about it, like real assholes about some shit. But it is what it is. I gotta open this post up some more. It ain't up to But yeah, they be acting real crazy about something unnecessarily too. And they run up on you like they real police. And they're about to lock you up. Ask you for your ID, your badge, everything. They be like going ham with it. Like, I be like, oh my God, is it really that sir? They be watching me vape like I got a weapon. Did I tell y'all that already? But if I haven't said, they be watching me when you vape like, like what the hell is that? Like, man, it's crazy out there. But it is what it is. It's paying the bills, so I ain't gonna complain. They pay good, but they pay you for a lot of bullshit that you gotta go through to get the money, man. Real talk. Sometimes I be thinking, is it really worth this? That's what I be thinking. Like, man, what a brother gotta do just to go do a regular 10 hour shift and get home. I'm already doing stuff dangerous and then y'all won't be nitpicking about everything. Oh, you can't walk this way. You can't, man, God damn. You can't use this, you can't use that. I don't be trying here. I just wanna get, do my job and go on, you know? What's good though, Wolfpack? Donnie been hitting up with a lot of good juices, man. I can't even say the last juice is called the cannoli cookie thing I think it was peach flavor and I don't really like peach but I, I want to try that though because that sounds good real good actually I mean extra good that's one thing about these posts in this Armageddon they keep falling down falling down and make it hard to put in your leaves I be right there and then they want to fall down. Making it more difficult than it gotta be. 
Cause it's not hard to build on if these posters cooperated. Like now, all these issues happened to me last time I tried this. Same exact thing. Post didn't want to go up. Alright, I got one out, man. Let me put the other one in. Yeah, I'm just thinking about James, too. And the issue he had in the group this week. What to do about the, the posting and packaging and all that. That was crazy, too. Like, James had the package. He tried to say James took the took the labeling off the package. And I don't believe that. I know James a good dude, man. I ain't never, and I do a lot of dealing with him. I ain't never had an issue and nothing with Slim. He's been like straight up and honest, true Wolfpack style. Like, no bull crap with him. You feel me? So, something ain't right. And I don't know why dude was trying to carry like that. All right, I got both of them in though, y'all. See how they just crooked. I just gotta straighten them up a little bit. But yeah. But I don't know why dude was trying to carry it like that, but it is what it is. Adversity all the time. Some bullshit jumping off. And James dealt with it the right way. He ain't really attacked the dude, but he pointed it out. That's what he supposed to do. Somebody trying to rip you off and do something other than what they supposed to do, you got to bring it to their attention. Because they're going to keep on doing it. Who, who's next? You feel me? What they going to do with you next? That's how I see it. He's want to tighten them down like I'm doing right there. Boom. All right, they all tighten down. Only thing left to do now is... Straighten them up a little bit. As you can see, they're crooked as hell. But I'm gonna straighten them up real straight. But yeah, so it is what it is. And good looking out, James Mucklin, on on what you did. That was a real stand up movie, James. I appreciate it and I like it. That's what everybody needs to be. Like you was, you stepped up to the plate on that. I mean, you. Wolfpack salute to James Muckman all day, every day. Not only is this good, it's cold good, but he's a good dude. So, you know what I'm saying? Nothing negative about him. Nothing but positive vibes, man. That's what you want in life. You don't want all the bullshit. Trouble free, hassle free, like I was juice. That's how I want to live my life. The same way I want my juice. Hassle free, man. I don't want all that bull crap. I'm just pulling the cords up to meet the airflow of the apocalypse. Try to center them as much as possible as if we can. Like that right there. See, I got them somewhat centered. Pushing them over. I'm gonna probably push it over and raise both of them up to the same height because one's a little higher than the other. But I'll fix that in one second. Like that. I'm just, you just adjust them and get them to and try to line them up to how the airflow is. Like the pockets, airflow, they got side airflow. See that hole right there? You want to try to get the hole, the cores just above that or right there at it. A little bit to the top of the hole so the airflow hits the bottom of the coil and up. That's where you get the best flavor from when they're like that. And with that being said, oh, I got to tighten this up. One of the leads came up when I was pulling on. I got to put it all the way back in. But yeah, man, hassle free life, man. That's what it is, real talk. Don't nobody want all that drama. If you know you're wrong and you made a mistake, fix it. That's all to it. Not everybody perfect. Nobody, not everybody's perfect, man. All you can do is try to live your life as best as possible, best of your capability. You know, you don't want to be ripping people off and get the name or your name under as rip off, cheap skate, and all of that crap, man. You want to be known as an up, upstanding citizen of the community, somewhat, did I say? It's not everybody standards in the community is good too. Just live life as best as you can. You know? Like I said, ain't nobody perfect, man. Nobody. All you can do is try to be. And that's all to it, yo. 
just real quick. Wrapped up. And now it's time for Wiggin. But I'm gonna drop by reverse. Work out any hot spots. And I'm gonna show you how to do that too. This is for the beginner that don't know how to really um, deal with RDAs and never really had an experience with RDAs. Just screw your RDA on there, you'll build that. Grab the battery that works with your mod, whether it's 18, uh, 650 or 2700, like I'm using the iPhone 2700. And I just dropped my mod. But it's all good. It's a bird. It can handle it. You know, with the uh, Rapture RDA on it. That's what I'm baking right now. This is bomb. And then here, this juice right here, this is that cinnamon bun. Because uh, you know I baked this early in the morning. It's like breakfast too, like I said. It's good as I don't know what might have been. Let me place them coils up real quick. But yeah. Pick your battery or the battery that your mod takes and stick it in there so you can drive around. I'm gonna take my RDA off because it comes off uh, easy. The cap to the ammo easier when I take that off. I don't want to mess, mess my cord up. There we go. Just that simple. All right. But dripping max, I'm just saying, is for the. Uh, advanced user. If you're not familiar with mech mods and battery safety and ohms law and all that, I wouldn't suggest you try this, but unless you have instructions and have someone that know what they are doing, advise you on how to do it. But I would research this dripping and all of that before I did it and learn my ohms law and the resistance of the cords that you're using. So, you won't have no issues and burn yourself or hurt yourself in some way. All right, I got that on there. And now I'm just going to take it, grab a tool. I use my tweezers to uh, drive fire and adjust my core. And you don't want to hit it long, just lightly, enough to heat them up. Slight pauses until you get it where you want. Drum them with the end of your... Uh, Whatever you choose, like I said, I chose my tweezers to do it. Pinch them, get them tight, because I want them all touching as much as possible. That is, without, without messing up the shape of your core. Don't risk the shape of your core doing this. Just lightly pause them. There you go. That's what you want, right? Like a, you got it going. You want to get all the hot spots out. And you want it glowing from the inside out. If it's not glowing from the inside out, it's not right. It has to be glowing all cold from the inside out. I don't care what kind of y'all, what brand, what type of metal you're using. If it's not glowing from the inside out, it's not right. And don't vape it. Get it till it's glowing from the inside out. That's what you want. Put my core rod back in and center my cores a little bit more. Raise them up to they about the same height, as close to the same height as the human eye can get it. And I think that's about it. It should be about the same height. Maybe I should center them a little bit more, maybe. That's my goal. Yeah, I'm gonna say try to put it over with my rod. A little closer. Yep, that's it right there. Oh, I got it. I'm real particular when I build my cores, so. It, it normally don't take some people this long, but with me, I want them just right. I want everything perfect when I do it. So, that's why it takes me some time. But it's glowing the way it's supposed to glow, and they all touching the way they supposed to touch. Everything looking good, so. This how you want. And I ain't trying to get all colors in them and stuff. Like right now, I'm just vaping it. But when I do my Instagram, I, I really find real likely to get all those pretty blues, purples, golds, and 
you know, like I posted the last time. But right there, that's all you need to get going. That is perfect. This is it. And it's quick and fast. Just that simple. Then you grab your cotton. Alright. And now I use organic pads now. I like them a lot. And they hella cheap. And they work better in my opinion. Because all the fibers are already running in the same direction. You ain't got to do all that really messing with the cotton that much. And with that I got to grab my scissors. And where did I lay them? Oh here we go. And grab scissors and cut a proportion. Look at your holes and you can guess them. At. You want the cotton about almost double the size of the hole to make sure that you have the right, you don't want to get no dry hits and not enough cotton and get dry hits with too much cotton and dry off your liquid and get a dry hit. No matter what you're doing, if you're waking wrong, no matter what, it leads to one thing, a dry hit. And you don't want that. So with that being said, try to get as close to perfect when you're waking up your cores as possible so you can avoid a dry hit. Don't use under the amount and don't use over. Both of them lead to one thing, like I said, dry hit. It is what it is. What's good, Team No Steve though? What everybody doing out there? Vaping that good. Thanks for watching my videos in advance, too. I appreciate it. And as soon as I get a hundred viewers, I'm going to be doing all this live like I do in the group. Live, live, live. It's coming. I just got to get there. It's going to take some time, but no matter what, I ain't giving up. I'm in it for the long haul. I'm in it for the wolf pack. Team No Steep. It is what it is. It take a month, it take a year, it is what it is. I'm gonna be here. I ain't going nowhere. I just like doing it live. That way I can correspond with everybody and have guests and, you know, really talk about stuff that concerns us, the vaping community, that it concerns Team No Steep and the Wolfpack. That's what I want. That's how I'm going. And just put enough cotton in there like that. There you go. That's how you want it looking. Both sides. Now I'm going to wait the other side. This is really simple. If you ain't never drip, this is it. This is all it takes. You ain't got to have no fancy coils or nothing. All of that can come with time. You can, Like I said, you can even buy pre-made coils. As long as you know how to put them in and the exact amount of cotton to you, you're good. Once you get that down, and it's like muscle memory, once you learn, you will never forget it. It's like easy. I'm just combing it out for any loose cotton that might be in there that can interfere with the flow. And once I do that, I trim them again. Trim them one more time, the final trim. About right there. And I'm guesstimating on about where it should. I know about heart, where it just touches the deck, the bottom of your juice well. You don't want it stuffed all under the cotton like you see some people and all that. That's wrong. Because the less cotton that you have in there, the better. The more juice you can drip in there. The cotton gets swollen and all of that. It's just taking up space and blocking your airflow. And that's what you don't want. You want space in there, a well for the juice to sit in there. That's why they put it there. Not for cotton, but for liquid. The cotton is just to transfer the liquid up to the core. So you don't want it stuffed under the core. It's choking off your airflow. You just want it in there just enough. On the bottom, touch it. I used to do it the other way with cotton all under there, under my cords, blocking everything. But then I realized that ain't working. Once I figured out and got my wicking down, I got way more flavor, way more longer drips, and everything. It's just better this way. Just enough so it's touching the bottom. That's it. And I'm going to show y'all final results after this. What it's supposed to look like. It takes time. I didn't learn this overnight. It took time, practice, and patience. But once you get it, 
you never forget it. And then after you start customizing vapes to the way you like it, like how much cotton you want to put in there and all of that and how hot you like your cores to be made, you will learn all of that. What ohms you prefer, you learn all of that. All that come with time and patience. And that's how it's supposed to look. See how you can see straight through there to the other side? That's how you want it looking, y'all. When you can see straight through to the other side, no cotton. When you can see the juice well at the bottom, you're good. You're perfect. That's how you want it. That's a good wicking job right there. And now let me subject me. <clears throat> I said subject. Let me pick the juice that I want to put on this one. What do we want to drip? What do we want to drip? That means I got so much crap up here to drip. I don't know. Let me think about it. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try them things out. I bought this from my homeboy, and uh, it's good. I've already tested it. It's called them things, and this is this one is it's by them things, and this one is called sweet thing. See on the bottom, sweet thing, and uh, it's a hazelnut cream cupcake. It's a hazelnut cream cupcake, y'all. It's really good, too. Max VG. You know what that means. When the VG outweigh the PG, it's Max VG. Right? Max VG. PG. I love it. But uh, it really say 80-20, though. So uh, that's what the ratio is. With the VG outweighing the PG. Let's put this on there and see what it's all about, though. On this apple. I like hazelnut, that's why I got it. It's good as hell. And it tastes like a cupcake to me. Sweet thing. You get the pastry taste of the cupcake in there. And when you're waking it, you wanna saturate your cotton in the beginning. Everything saturated. Your coils, your cotton. And then at the end, you put juice in your well or your RDA so it can wake up to your coils. But you do that at the end. Right now you just use your little dropper to get it all wet and saturated with your e-liquid. Make sure you don't see no white or see anything that's not wet. Make sure it's completely wet. Everything covered. Like that right there. See how it's saturated? And now I'm gonna put a lot in the well. And I'm gonna go straight from the top. Straight like that. And then dump it in. Just enough. Then I'm gonna take my waking tool and make sure my cotton is back. Because it swells up while you're doing this. So you wanna push it back so it won't catch the cap or your RDA when you're putting it on there. But make sure you're still not covering under your coil. So you won't mess your airflow up. But make sure it's back so when you put the cap on, it won't interfere with that and get cotton stuck up under your cap and all that. But make sure that airflow hole is still open like that. There you go. Still open. You can still see through there. All right. Now take your cap, put it on. Make sure the hose is lined up at the side where that hole is that you left with the cotton. That's where the air is going to shoot through there. Matter of fact, I almost put it on without showing y'all what to do. Let's steam it out. Let's get it cloudy up in this wolf stand. Oh yeah, wolf pack, where you at on that? Look at that, y'all. That's what it's supposed to do right there. That's 24 gauge stainless steel parallel, six wraps, beast mode, man. I love this build. Look at that. Man, it's easy to build cores, y'all. Dripping is not that hard, man. It just takes a little time and patience. And once you learn how to do it and get good at it, it ain't nothing to it. Nothing. Trust and believe. Man, trust and believe. It ain't nothing to it. It's easy. All right, let's 
Let's, let's cloud it up in this dish. Let's get it real cloudy. This is a cloud chasing bill for real, y'all. Oh yeah, and it's juice. Bomb, I taste the hazelnut, I taste the pastry of the cupcake, everything is good. Mm. The creaminess job thick too. Oh yeah, this good man. This this is popular in this apple chucking like a mother. Man, wolf pack where you at? Salute to this right here all day. Yeah, y'all. And with that, man, I'm gonna end the video, man. And like I say, man, everybody be safe. Wolfpack salute. Team no Steve. Only the best. Y'all already know what it is. And I hope everybody learned a little something from this video. And if you're dripping for the first time, give it a try. Take your time and don't give up. Just keep at it. Keep at it. You will get good. Team no Steve, man. I'm out of here. Wolf Jack. TNS Tony. Bye, y'all. Have a nice one.